Our Tahoe daughter. Caring, soft-hearted woman. While we were there visiting, she got a telephone call from a young lady, I'm trying to think, 20 to 23, somewhere along in there, that is a no blood relation of hers, but through connections with other people, the young lady has come to think of our daughter as a, I guess you'd say, a foster mom. So the telephone call comes in that she and some other young people, when the young lady herself had been out of the hospital only a short time, had gone down to the L.A. area in her old car, and the car broke down. Her friends all left her because she had her dog with her. Not a smart move to be traveling with a dog in an old car, but kids do those things. Well, the daughter was willing to send her some money for a bus, but she couldn't leave her dog. She loved that dog. She considered that dog her guardian. Well, my daughter loves dogs, so she could certainly understand that. So, uh, the check here and there revealed that no greyhounds, nobody will let her come and bring the dog. So the daughter decides she'll go down and get her. And I decide I'll go along and help with the driving. That's how we happen to be in L.A. with those uh, shots we took of the planes coming in and out of LAX. That young lady probably left the car there to be picked up by another trip who was still there when she'd go back. I was grateful that my daughter didn't think she could put a chain on and pull that car back up. It's a long old trip from Tahoe down to Los Angeles. But the real thing I'm so proud of is that my daughter cares enough. She's Christian enough. She doesn't talk Christianity. She lives it. That she would make that trip down there, pay for the motel for the girl the night before we went down, and for all of us the night we went down, the day we went down to get her, and then the gas and oil so on to bring her home. That's walking the walk, not talking the talk. Proud of her. And it's pleasing that she's the kind of young woman, well, you know, when you get to be 50 years old, I guess you don't feel too young. I didn't at 50. But she's the kind of young woman that cares enough to give and keep on giving. I don't know how much more she'll do with that young lady. I don't know how much the young lady realizes, well, uh, what a adopted foster mother she has. But three cheers for you, Rhonda Renee. Rah, rah, rah.